First, our top story tonight, yet another ongoing conversation in the aftermath of the major winter storms that we've had so far this season. What to do in the future when it comes to trucks on the New York State Thruway? We've reported how, when they're forced off the highway, they can then clog up other important roadways, and that can cause just more concerns. Tonight, we're learning more about a meeting that happened earlier this week. It was between local emergency managers, the State Department of Transportation, the Thruway Authority, and other groups. The goal is to come up with a plan to handle this better next time. Let's talk about it now live with two on your side's Ron Plants, who has been covering this story for us. So, Ron, uh, very much a work in progress here when it comes to all the truck mm -hmm. traffic. It has to go somewhere, right? But I guess the question is, are these drivers really paying attention when they get these weather alerts and when they're told where they can and can't be? Well, Michael, some may, but others who may be from out of state coming in from the Midwest or even Canada, we saw them out there, are determined to meet their delivery deadlines or just listening to satellite radio and ignoring any alerts from what we heard. So they'll try to find some other way around the shutdown on the thruway with their GPS steering them on to say Transit Road up north or Route 20 or Abbott Road down on the South Towns. You can't get the plows in there then with all those trucks, especially if they get stuck. So some of the discussion now is to reach out more so to the apps like Google Maps and Waze to get them to help these truck drivers better navigate elsewhere in a weather emergency. For example, the Southern Tier Expressway Route 86 was not really hit with these recent big storms, Mike. Yeah, they've been fortunate down uh, in that part of the area. That's maybe one option. Also, Ron, I know there's been a lot of discussion about the fines that these truck drivers can face if they violate the bans, right? Yes, but again, some seem to regard it as the cost of uh, doing business, if you will. The drivers in some cases just don't seem to care because they may feel they're under delivery pressure, and losing money sitting out the storm. And here's what Hamburg emergency manager Sean Crotty told us. We have pre-established staging areas for them to go to. We have plans in place, and the hard thing is, is you know, we all buy into the plan, but the motorists, the, the trucking community doesn't. You know, they're calling up to the EOC asking what the fine is if they get caught driving during a driving ban. EOC is the emergency uh, operations center that Erie County had during the storm, which is, you might imagine, they were extremely busy. They didn't need calls like that coming in, Michael. Yeah, but uh, you know, they look at it and say it's, it's such a hassle for us to deal with the driving ban. Maybe just pay the fine and, and move on. That, that's obviously a concern. Finally, for us, Ron, um, when you talk about uh, enforcement of that, when you, you deal with the driving ban and, and that sort of thing, how, how are they trying to plan that moving forward? Uh, yeah, as Crotty says, okay, they're not out to punish anybody, but sometimes hitting them in the wallet or the bottom line is the only way to get their attention. We're looking at legislation to put more teeth into those driving bans, you know, enforcing, you know, I, I, it has to hurt them, right? Um, and that's what we're, that's what we're really looking at. And that's what, you know, we've, that was the focus of um, a lot of conversation um, with the Thruway Authority is because there's no consequence to it. $250 fine, you know, but those fines, you know, very rarely get instituted. Oh, again, we realize those trucks can carry important cargo like food. They have to get to the supermarkets. They understand all that, but also feel maybe you can wait a little longer for that sweater you ordered from Amazon, right? All right, no response so far from the state, the Thruway, or the New York Trucking Association, who we reached out to as well, Michael. But Ron, you know, we were talking earlier, um, there are a lot of things to deal with, a lot of lessons to learn from the storm, right? At least in terms of this one, you got all the players kind of getting together and trying, trying to figure it out. We'll they, see if they're successful. They did, and that's what they were trying to do. This meeting was actually on Wednesday mm -hmm. at the Erie County Emergency Operations Center, and as you pointed out, they had all the counterparts there trying to work this out. We'll see what they can come up with and what the state comes up with. We'll keep on it. Ron Plants reporting tonight. Ron, thank you.